it facilitated all these challenges. Some of the SOA platforms which are common, the few to name in fact, Microsoft SharePoint portal, Microsoft Business, Business Talk Server. These are the uh, business applications which Microsoft has given smart SOA and WebSphere, that is what IBM gets. SAP NetWaver process integration, it's SAP's SOA platform. Oracle Enterprise Service Bus, one of the Oracle's SOA platform. TIPCO Active Matrix Business Works, this is one of the TIPCO's SOA platform. Unify NXJ, this is Unify's SOA platform, Service Mix, Apache's SOA platform and so on. There are n number of SOA platforms available in the market. So we will be focusing here on Microsoft platforms and we've seen that SharePoint portal, BizTalk, these are the platforms where we are using SOA. This talk or SharePoint portal, these are the application which will provide services to the consumers. Now how to program SharePoint portal or this talk server. Right? So as far as programming is concerned, we need some framework. Right? So this WCF, which we call basically Windows Communication Foundation, this is nothing but Microsoft framework for building service oriented applications. Right. So simply we can say WCF is a framework for building distributed and interoperable applications on Microsoft platforms. WCF or Windows Communication Foundation unifies ASMX, these are the ASMX, Windows, or Microsoft's web services, legacy web services, we can say, .NET remoting, and enterprise services stack, where we have message queuing, we have COM plus, DCOM, etc. All these things are unified in a single programming model, and that is WCF. In WCF, Protocol choices are configurable. Messaging formats are configurable. Process allocations are configurable. Because we have code with configuration files which are in XML format. And, and this is one of the achievements how we separate two things, configuration and the logic. And this gives us how we can scale up and how we can scale out. Now, as far as the product development or application development is concerned, we have two points, scaling up the application and scaling out the application. So WCF provides us both options. If we want to make changes while our application is running without stopping the application, we can make changes in configuration files and that gets reflected in the application. We don't have to rebuild the application. Right? So this is one of the achievements again which SOA architecture gives to this WCF framework. WCF it's pure service oriented built for service oriented system design. WCF simplifies how you approach service oriented architecture. WCF is loosely coupled. Everything is configurable. WCF is not bound to a particular protocol. It's not bound to a particular encoding algorithm. It is not bound to a particular hosting environment. That's different. WCF is interoperable. 
it supports core web services standard like web services star extensible WCF is extensible to quickly adapt to new protocol and updates WCF facilitates application integration integrates with earlier Microsoft stack like com com plus dcom web services ms and q etc so integration is again a very very easy task as far as wcf is concerned so this is precisely what wcf is 